Oi pessoal, está começando mais um vídeo do Manual de Sobrevivência do Engenheiro Biomédico. Gente, hoje eu gostaria de mostrar como é a situação da engenharia do médico em relação às universidades lá fora. É, foi realizado em julho de 2018 um ranking das melhores faculdades globais é, na Universidade de Xangai. Foi realizado é, essa votação lá. Então, o ranking ele levou em consideração mais de 4 mil universidades e 52 áreas de estudo, como engenharia, ciências sociais, médicas, enfim, áreas de pesquisa que impactam a vida e o nosso cotidiano. Os fatores de classificação para cada faculdade ocorreram com relação ao número de publicações científicas por cada universidade, o fator de impacto das pesquisas geradas e o número de prêmios de alto nível conquistados pelo corpo docente. Com relação ao curso de Engenharia Biomédica, temos as seguintes universidades. Podemos ver que a Universidade de Harvard é a melhor classificada. Acho que isso não é novidade para ninguém. No total de 15, das 15 melhores universidades, como eu apresento para vocês, 11 estão presentes nos Estados Unidos. As outras universidades estão presentes na Ásia, como a China, Singapura e a Coreia do Sul. Então, gente, ainda nesse tema da engenharia biomédica, achei interessante preparar para vocês universidades bem conceituadas, mundo afora, para apresentar é, como o curso é encarado e visto lá fora. Porque aqui no Brasil ainda é muito de pouco divulgado e também sabemos que o investimento em educação aqui também é bem baixo comparado aos países de primeiro mundo, países desenvolvidos, onde a educação é prioridade. Então, acho interessante a gente poder ver como lá fora é encarado o nosso curso para dar um ânimo para a gente também e fazer é, o curso ser mais conhecido e mais bem visto. As universidades selecionadas são a Universidade de Massachusetts e a Universidade de Stanford, ambas localizadas nos Estados Unidos. Esse curso foca em preparar os estudantes para a maior indústria nos Estados Unidos. Healthcare provides incredibly complicated challenges. And we teach them how to design a medical device so it's better, cheaper, doesn't hurt so much. The way they operate. The problem is that we cannot change the filter here. We cannot... What we want our students in this class to do is not hack and try things at random. We want them to design and experiment thoughtfully. The Department of Bioengineering started around 2003. Now we have this department that has roots both in the School of Medicine with its excellence in biology, science, clinical care, and then in the School of Engineering with excellence in the discovery of new methods and new technologies to be applied to problems that society has. For me, bioengineering is a discipline that figures out uh, you know, either biological, chemical, mechanical, any kinds of means to truly communicate with um, what life does and, you know, then figure out what it's good for. Bioengineering is the science of engineering where the substrate, where the tools are from biology. We think like engineers, but we understand the biology and our goals are uh, to build, design, repair, uh, and study biological systems quantitatively. Bioengineers have uh, two missions. The first mission is to understand biology and medicine and the problems, the scientific questions that are vexing at the moment, but they also have a toolkit, an engineering toolkit for solving problems, for designing the solution and implementing it. Another key advantage that Stanford has in establishing the Department of Bioengineering is that the School of Medicine and the School of Engineering are literally across the street from one another. You can basically walk from engineering school to medical school just by crossing the campus drive, and that's just fabulous. And you can run into all people from all different departments in the cafeteria, and I think that is really something that stimulates you know, the next generation of bioengineering research. There's no place like Stanford. Uh, and the big reason, I would say, is because you take my office uh, in the Clark Center here, if I look out one window, I see 
one of the best engineering schools in the world, and if I look out the other window, I see one of the best medical schools in the world. And that's not enough by itself. You also need a culture where people really are open to this kind of stuff. They kind of like, you know, have you to cross over boundaries and are comfortable, speak a little bit of the languages these other people speak so they can communicate with them. Também separei a Universidade de Birmingham. Today we are going to be looking at a piece of kit called an ophthalmoscope and this is used to have a look inside your eye. So we can actually shine a light through your pupil and we can look at the retina at the back of your eye. It's a super time for individuals looking at the field of biomechanical or biomedical engineering. With the advance of technology, a better understanding of the human anatomy, we can start to use appliance of engineering techniques to better care for our patients. So this is going to be classed as one of the medical devices that somebody like yourself as a medical engineer would end up developing and manufacturing. The program covers a wide range of modules, starting from anatomy and physiology, engineering mathematics, and specific core biomedical modules on biomechanics, biomaterials, medical devices management, and by the time you're going to be graduating with us, we upscale your knowledge to work you in the capacity of manager. The Maya is connected to a prosthetic, and these chips are connected via Bluetooth to the computer. That way it records the motion of the arm in response to the movement of the muscles and controls the movement of the prosthetic itself. As a biomedical engineer, you'll be working very closely with clinicians, patients and computer scientists to solve real-life problems, working on projects from concept all the way to the manufacturing of that product. You'll be expected to combine your creativity and innovation with the latest technology to produce products that would help patients and improve their lives. A Universidade de Londres e a Universidade de Liverpool, todas localizadas na Inglaterra. So a lot of the course is just general engineering, but um, I like to think of it as using engineering like applications and an engineering mindset and problem solving to like try and solve the problems we have with our bodies. Hip replacements, knee replacements, prosthetic implants, things like that, just to sort of help quality of life get better for people. I particularly enjoy the group projects, so I feel that with working in a group um, and given a task, we get to share our skills with everyone and then we learn from each other. Like I'm doing the same kind of modules as like aerospace students, mechanical students, but also I'm learning about cells and I'm learning about different parts of the body. So I'm the president of the Women in Engineering Society. Um, so we do a lot of social experiences, a lot of academics and industrial links, and we try and make it a place that's fun but not too academic. I enjoyed the, the whole the actual projects we've been given. So this year, for example, we got given um, a minimally invasive device for emphysema student patients. So we had to just form a device and design it and then give it. So I thought that was quite interesting. This, for me, feels like what an educational institution should be like. It should be somewhere where, okay, yes, academic excellence is what is the aim, but also in a very welcoming and in a very understanding and relaxed environment. I also think it's a really good opportunity to try new things that you're not really given if you just go straight into a job. If you're into biology, if you're into like learning about the human body and you're also into sort of technology and engineering and like learning how things work, then I would really recommend looking into biomedical engineering because that's, that's exactly what it is. I am Dr. Riaz Akhtar. I'm the program director for the master's program here in biomedical engineering. Hi, my name is Sarah Al Said. I come to Liverpool from Kuwait. I'm doing uh, a master's course in biomedical engineering. Hi, my name is Carlin, and I am from Wisconsin in the United States, and I am earning my master's degree here in biomedical engineering. 
Where I work is within the Quadrangle, and that's where the School of Engineering is based. It's, it's the original Red Brick University, and it's a really nice mix of traditional architecture with a very modern interior. It's really great that this university has two different libraries that you can study at. Um, for a lot of the engineering materials, you have the Harold Cohen Library, and then the Sydney Jones is where I studied a lot. The Biomedical Engineering Master's program is a 12-month program and it encompasses traditional teaching, so lecture-based modules and then a summer research project. We have other interesting courses like smart materials and lasers. And my favorite class during the year was tissue engineering and this led me to apply to various jobs in the medical device industry and pharmaceutical. Biomedical engineering is a fast-growing research area not only worldwide but within the school as well. I've seen biomedical engineering go from strength to strength. The research that biomedical engineers do within the School of Engineering is quite wide-ranging, so everything from developing orthopedic implants for dogs right through to medical devices for better treatment of eye diseases. And my own research focuses on understanding the progression of diseases such as cardiovascular disease using advanced engineering techniques. The biomedical engineering industry is worth billions around the world and the course allows students from various backgrounds such as physics, engineering, even life sciences to learn new skills and apply engineering principles and techniques to the biomedical arena. For more information on how to apply for the course, please visit our website. Também separei para vocês a Universidade de Lübeck, localizada na Alemanha. Hola, my name is David Caraveo and I'm studying biomedical engineering at University of Lübeck and Fachhochschule Lübeck. My study in biomedical engineering is about how to merge the part of medical stuff and engineering on the right way to make safe products or to renew a new product. So we are the bridge between the technicians and the medical part. The first semester on two groups, medical groups and technical group. After that, we choose which elective we want to have and focus our our speciality in each lecture. I'm working with my master thesis. There is, uh, I'm developing a new master device who can control some Bluetooth sensors. And these sensors can look the movements on one, on avatar in real time. Sensor can be used for epileptic patients. It's going to be all, all of them wireless, so they can do the normal life. And the doctor can look this information on the computer afterwards if an episode happens and how long it happens. My free time where is we have a nice time. I like to go with my friends and grill something on the leg or over travel or stay there just relaxing and enjoy the sun. Temos também a Universidade de Sydney, localizada na Austrália. Cochlear implants, pacemakers, MRI scanners, laser surgery, and hip and knee replacements. These almost everyday innovations, once thought impossible, were made a reality by biomedical engineers. Biomedical engineering is one of the fastest growing branches of engineering, and it's easy to see why. Combining a wide range of engineering disciplines with the life sciences of medicine and human biology, biomedical engineers work with doctors and medical scientists to treat critically ill patients and improve improve quality of life for people with an injury or physical disability. The Biomedical Engineering Program at the University of Sydney is the largest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Here, your biomedical engineering training starts from day one as an undergraduate. You'll finish your degree ready for a job in just four years, rather than having to complete a fifth year as other universities require. The course combines mechanical, mechatronic, electronic, chemical and materials engineering, allowing you to specialise in those areas you like the most. 
you can choose a major in chemical, electrical, humanitarian, mechanical or mechatronic engineering or in information technology have electives available and these will take you to the very cutting edge of innovation. As a pilot of my summer internship, I got to work with Dr. Justin Bobbin in developing and prototyping a 3D printed prosthetic hand. Working in industry has been a really valuable experience for me. I've been able to build a professional network and also have a clear understanding about my future career path. I graduated from Sydney University two years ago and I never actually imagined that I would be in a position of leadership. I'm managing a team of 16 people and we're working on world leading stuff because it's quite exciting. e a Universidade Técnica da Dinamarca. My name is Mette Carstensen. I'm 26 years old and I study biomedical engineering. The question is how fast can the audio system follow these fluctuations in a sound? I think the opportunity to be the bridge between the people at the hospital and the engineers, we are supposed to be the people who understand both of them and then we can kind of find solutions uh, that fit their clinical requirements and also the technical requirements. And that is extremely interesting to work in this cross field between these two very different worlds. This is a one millisecond square wave. It gives one action potential on the nerve and it gives a twitch contraction in the muscle fibers. There's so many tasks to go out there and solve. There's a lot of new technology that, that is still not implemented and it's just waiting for us to, to go there and, and implement it. And that is really fascinating, I think. Então, gente, é isso. Não esqueça de se inscrever no nosso canal e dar um like nesse vídeo. Todos ah, os vídeos vão ser disponibilizados com os links abaixo para vocês pesquisarem sobre as faculdades. E em breve teremos mais vídeos sobre mestrado e doutorado lá fora também. Tá bom? Um beijo, até mais!